Now, I would like to, you know, in any organization, you need champions. And um, you've heard one champion, ambassador from Rwanda, the second champion, the ambassador from, or the high commissioner from Rwanda, and the second champion from uh, Zimbabwe. But now what you haven't heard is the third champion. They are not three musketeers because they were men, so I don't know if there were three women called musketeers or something, but they were definitely the third one. And the beauty about that is when I talked to you this morning about uh, the High Commissioner of Rwanda, I told her she was from my alma mater, the University of Rwanda. But what you don't know is that I should not say Her Excellency um, uh, Tessa. I should say Dr. Tessa. And Dr. Tessa is a graduate of UBC in environment education and food security. So she is a Canadian, not born, but a Canadian educated at one of our very good university. She's a doctor, so she knows Canada. She went back to her country, had a number of responsibility, and came back in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, in 2010, as ambassador to Canada, or high commissioner to Canada. And I'm very, very pleased she's hard-working person, she's a tough person, and she's a businesswoman disguised in a diplomat suit. <laughs> Madame. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Lucien. Businesswoman, now I should be one <laughs> soon. Um, Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear colleagues, it is an honor for me to deliver very brief closing remarks on the occasion of this historic African Women Trade and Investment Opportunities Conference held on this day of 28 May 2013 in Toronto, Canada. On behalf of the African Women Diplomatic Forum, I wish to express sincere gratitude to the Foreign Minister, to Foreign Affairs Minister John Bett and his Department of International, of Foreign Affairs and International Trade for their participation in this conference, but also for facilitating some of the processes that led to the success and to the implementation of this conference. I also wish to acknowledge and to thank Honorable Minister Fantino in his absence for his support to the forum, but also for also facilitating some of the processes that led to the implementation of this conference. We are grateful to our honorable guest, Senator Salma Atalujan, for the meaningful opening remarks that she delivered this morning. To the African heads of missions, notified Shashi Defense, all members of the diplomatic court who are here with us today, and those who are still in Ottawa, but who have contributed towards the success of this conference. We thank you sincerely. Members of the African Diplomatic Cohort uh, Forum wish to thank our technical committee for the efforts, the commitment, and the hard work that they have put forth to making this conference the success that it is. To the members of our of African Women Diplomatic Forum, dear colleagues, your innovativeness, strength, resilience, and wisdom is a true testimony of what women in Africa in Canada can accomplish when provided with opportunities and conducive environment. The women of this forum 
wish to thank our leadership, the chairperson of the African Women Diplomatic Forum, the High Commissioner of Rwanda, Her Excellency, Mrs. Eda Mukabawakiso, for leading us into this landmark historic first time ever Women African Conference in Canada. <laughs> to our business partner and the consultant Canadian Council on Africa, the President, Mr. Lucien Brade, and to your team, we are thankful. We sincerely appreciate the partnership, the true partnership that you have demonstrated and the collaboration in which we have together travel a long journey that makes this conference the success that it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Once again, I would like to thank all the delegates that have traveled so far away from Africa to come to this historic conference. I would I would like to make a small correction to the earlier error that was made, the error of omission, that the delegation from Ivory Coast is also here with us today. And I would like to ask the delegation to stand up so that we can acknowledge you, please. I would like, on behalf of my chair, I would like also to correct an error that the representative of the High Commission of Zambia, who is with us today, is actually the deputy to the High Commissioner, and uh, that's my sister Sylvia down there. <laughs> Special, sincere thanks go to our keynote speaker, Hajia Bola Shagaya. <laughs> My sister, Hajia Bola Shagaya, you are a woman of substance. You are a clear testimony of what business women in Africa can become the change that we all wish to see in Africa. The African Women Diplomatic Forum, thank you sincerely for your powerful speech, but not just speech, but a living business story that is yourself. We thank you for accepting our invitation, our invitation to be a keynote speaker, but also by your good choice for deciding that this is the moment in your life to partner with the African Women Diplomatic Forum. <laughs> One of the many lessons we take from your speech is that not classroom to teach business, but experience. I hope that we have all had taken that important lesson with us. Our sister, Ngosi Olegema, the African Women Diplomatic Forum is grateful to you for accepting our invitation to be our speaker. The forum sincerely thank you for deciding to partner with Audiv through the launching of your through the launching of the Young Women Entrepreneurs Fund, which you have just launched. <laughs> it. 
This is the most tangible outcome of this conference. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I have been amazed at the level at the high level of discussions and enthusiasm in this conference of African women trade and investment opportunities. For example, we have heard some of the creative ways in which Africans and Canadian women have engaged business activities to reduce poverty, including formation of cooperatives, design and crafts, agribusiness and food processing, advocacy for diplomatic, uh, for democratic representation of women in Africa. To African women uh, who are here, you now have the tools, you have been equipped with the skills and the knowledge on how to do business in Canada. For example, you now have the knowledge of how you can export your goods and services in Canada, how to access the market in Canada, and some of the custom regulations that you have to oblige with in order for your business to be successful. Our hope and desire as the African Women Diplomatic Forum is for this conference to continue in your lives beyond today, beyond this month, beyond this year, and forever. I have been asked to deliver the closing remarks, but the way that I, underst I have understood this conference is that today is only the first step to your long journey of business. Tomorrow, when you engage in business to business meeting, will be your second step towards, that, towards accomplishing that long journey. The third step you will attain when you land back on the African continent, and that is follow up. That is the most important step in your journey of business, in your journey of being successful women in business. That first call that you will make when you arrive in Zimbabwe, in Zambia, in Angola, in Mali, that first email that you will send to your colleague and say, dear Ada, I want to let you know I have arrived safely back home. It was a pleasure and honor to meet you. Now I want us to continue with the story of doing business that we have started in Toronto on the 28th and 29th of May, 2013. <laughs> that is the really business, a follow-up. And I would like to challenge all of you to step out of the attitude of, I will try, but do it. Take that cell phone or landline, make that first call. Take the uh, computer for those who have. If you don't have, go to business uh, cafe, send that first email. In closing, this is what I wish to propose to all of you. To, the, to our Canadian partners. Can we make Africa a trade and investment destination of our choice? With the willingness and the creativity of the people in this room, I am confident that we can make it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I forget, because I said this is not the closing, I forget that I should say yeah. I officially announced the closing of the, the conference. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.